Welcome back guys to Tales of Vesperia, our last episode after a few sub-events mainly focusing around Dongress, we headed out to find Judith proper, heading past Yumgun, finding a place to dock, and entering Mount Temza, a battleground of the Great War, devastated with craters all around. As we learned that Raven was part of this Great War, we start our ascent with the sounds of Baul, showing us that we're on the right track. I'll take a Vade off then. We'll get Crucible and Aphanor on. I don't know which one it is that does it. It's probably Crucible. Is what I said. Oh, what the hell? There's a guy here. Is there something over here? There is. Hold still. I'll make this quick. Go. One of them's also Grand Chariot, after all. Alright, there's one down. I was about to say, don't kill it before I've done the thing. Look at it just belly flop launch. That's what happens when I, get I had a chance to get them all, and then I failed it. Well, we cooked some more pudding, so life is good. Another tribal guard. Well, you had to guess that there was something there. A treat in a specific. Sounds like time for me to boost my stats, but I think we found ourselves a town. It's a little bit rubbly, though. This is a Critian city? More like the remains of one. There might be some treasure around here. What do you think Judith would come here for? Suppose it wouldn't make much sense to say she was feeling homesick. Tyson and Nan. Hey, nobody lays a hand on one of our own. If she's broken our laws, we'll settle this amongst ourselves. Now get out of here. We're only trying to follow a monster we're hunting. This doesn't involve you. Okay, this is getting us nowhere. Let me at him! You're right. It's just a waste of time trying to talk sense to people like this. Who interrupts our conversation is gonna be taking a long nap. Leave now. But do you really want to do this? Yeah, I'd leave. I'd leave too. Judith, you followed me here. Yeah, we're here to settle things for the sake of the guild. Judith, tell us everything you know. Why you destroyed the Blastia. About the Apatheia and the Entelikea, their relationship to Pharaoh. All of it. And even though you're one of us, your answers will decide your fate. Punish the unjust, was it? Honestly, I don't know if that's really a good thing or not. You've already come this far. I suppose there's no going back now. Come. Yuri, what did you mean about Judy's fate? If there's one thing the Dawn's last moments taught me, it's that I've been too soft. If a part is infected, you cut it off before it infects the whole. Even if it's a comrade, an Antilochea, or a friend. You mean even if it's Flynn or Pharaoh? Yeah. It's the path I've chosen for myself. Alright, so finally we get our explanation. Well, we want to hit the save point as well at this point in time. Yeah, I'd run away if I were being threatened that way, and Yuri's voice at that point in time was really like, yeah, I mean business. Do you not know my reputation yet? Well, hunting blades again. Well, yeah, they're getting our way everywhere. All these guilds, they're all going off bay, aren't they? All going like. The union doesn't matter anymore. It's so bizarre. They all just go off on one. Let's see the skit. The hunting blades again? We didn't just cross paths this time. We're after the same thing. We just might have to fight. If it does come to that, you guys don't have to worry about me. But we can't keep Judith waiting. Let's go. Carol. 
our boys growing up. Yeah. Isn't there some way we can avoid fighting the hunting blades? I hope so, but it's pretty much up to them. Yep. Yes. What is Carol gonna do when he sees Nan again? That's 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 the wondery bit. I do wonder what to save over at this point in time as well. <laughs> What part? I think I haven't done badly. I don't think I've missed any sub-events since the original Emmy Hill stuff. Let's save over our very first save file. So do I follow her right now, or do I go this other way and kind of check out town for the time being? The rubble spreads as far as the eye can see. From the looks of it, the land was once joined up to all the way over there. And now, completing our ghost town rubble. In fact, the fact these runes all seem to dyed white, in a way, kind of looks a bit weird. I'll take a melange gel. That's going away. Gotta scan all the edges, after all. The debris has all calcified to the point where it's impossible to tell what the original colours were. So he's even telling us that. that. It just looks weird. What did that? What caused this? The Grand Scepter has gained a pipe made from blessed metal. Heavy than it looks, it inflicts great damage on targets. Just smack people with it, do you? Fatal Exceed increases damage dealt by Fatal Strike to enemies that do not die from it. It's kind of cool. Immunity as well. Reduces the chance of receiving status effects. It's pretty cool. The magic attack gain for that is really nice. But yeah, got to get for our skills and swords and that when multiple characters can use them. Working quite well for- Judith! Where's Judith actually gone? Come back, Judith! I was going to put you in the pie. And now you've run away. So we'll get rid of the hunting blaze issue. We got a head start. We'll sort every single one of them out. Damn it! Now I can't get him. Oh, I can't! Oh, do it again! Do it again! Oh, just get him. It seems that Patty always ends up fighting all the rest of them. I fail to strike the other one as well at the same time. Oh, we got another Nightingale out. I love how she's constantly using search gold to find the tiniest amount of gold each time. We're going to have some extra salad power. Some more agility. We've run out of pudding power. I feel like we need a uh, vendor at the moment. A sentimental landscape, you say? What's that about? The hole in this mountain is like the hole in my heart. <sighs> How my chest aches. Getting all sentimental on us, old man? Nah, it's just memories of the war. I'd appreciate it if we didn't spend too much time here. Stop being such a coward. Oh, that hurts, Rita. The only way to get past a bad memory is to embrace it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Not really. I was just generalizing. Anyway, you want to hurry, right? Then let's go. Our little genius mage is more mature than she looks. More mature, it's Rita. Right, let's get this treasure chest. I would search for the gold in the middle of the battle as well. Every time you hit them, they could be dropping stuff, you know. Wee! Miss, got the fatal strike, but it didn't work well enough. What the hell are you hitting these guys with? That's what I'm wondering most of the time. Patty seems to work really well as a fighter off to the side, doesn't she? So you're the one with the baseball. What? All's well that ends Welsh Corgi. Where does that reference come into things? We haven't seen a Welsh Corgi anywhere. We haven't seen any Corgis. Yes, it has shorter legs. What? Relevance? Just because you have shorter legs because you're smaller? All's well that ends Welsh Corgi. Sure. Got some more trouble guards. And a transform bow. A well-designed Bristol bow. It was once used in the army in the past. Hmm. I wonder... If it's something you could have dropped. Take that, sir. That's a big boost your attack, but a bit lowering your HP. Item Pro and Strength 2. Item Pro allows you to decrease the time. 
Let's get you in. Come on, Raven. You could do some fighting with us as well. It's a bit weird at the moment. We've got mainly like a hybrid ranged party in some respects. How much TP gel do I have currently? I have one pineapple gel. Oh. I seem to be lacking orange gels. I need some orange gels. Vendor, please! I heard stories of a Cridian town, but I never knew where it was. Me too. Didn't expect it to be on Mount Temsa. They must really value their privacy to build a whole town on a mountain. Is there something they don't like doing in front of other folk? Cridians are a secretive lot, to be sure. Well... They just wanted to be separate. I guess lots of people do that, but whatever. We got the Ares. Named after an ancient god of war, this is a weapon designed for total destruction. Sounds cool. Can't get through there, though. Yeah. Let's go get another tribal staff. You can't hear through all this wind. Obtain one gold. Oh, he just got... Did he just get destroyed? I think he got flew away because of that attack. Interestingly. Someone else is broken at some point in time here. I definitely saw someone else's thing flash up. It's not just you for the up, is it? You're learning a cool lot of new things there, old man. This guy's not going to survive anymore, so used to doing that. No, I just jumped into the water! Now, Reba Darchi? Sure. He's just saying quotes off in the corner somewhere, I feel like. Oh my heart, no my love. Sure, you keep saying that. Our HP's good, so let's keep cooking salad. I don't know if I've managed to make the other thing. There's another tribal guard! I'm gonna sell loads of them. I surely don't need more than, I'd say, three. Like one base and then upgrades, just in case it has a 1A and a 1B. Is that what we need it for, right? There's a bomb just went off. Yes, yeah, they'll get in there, do some melee attacks. I wish there was another TP ingredient, to be honest. Aren't you dead yet? Wonderful. Yeah, Patty, you keep doing ninja running all over the place. This is a slower battle, isn't it? I'm trying to not use TP as well. Here's Nightingale. I'm just getting started. Did I just lose the HP? I do not know. Right, some more Desier Iron Sand. I've got enough of the Desier stuff now. Definitely. Alright, Nightingale being learnt yet? No. Still no. One day, though. One day. See, that looks like you could break that. Which way are we heading now? Up there? Oh, up there is definitely a save. Especially. I don't need one of these! Right, I may as well hit the save point, so I've got the stuff. Just get a, a tribal guard from a blooming chest now. I suppose I could try. Please don't poison me. Seems someone got poisoned. Stell's out of mana. Me just trying to fight them off. For the destruction field to finish it. Why are you firing that Ariva Dirty too? Let's use a poison bottle and get you sorted out. I can't throw it to you. You want to use a pineapple gel instead of your own poison? The Stell's just like, I'm on no HP! Give me some more! 
Let's go. It's all good. We can make some co- We can make some curry, he says. That will get me the stuff I need. Oh well. That's definitely a heal point though. Right, physical attack plus free one. Now that's what I wanted to hit. <sighs> that should be the one that stores all my TP, so we don't need to cook anything for that. It's all good. Let's check the other way up and see what treasure chest lies this way, if one at all, that we can get to. We can get to one. This one's strong. It's a lie! It's Pandor, as in Pandora's box. Oh! Let's go do your best, guys. Yes, more nightingales. You're still trying to steal stuff, are you? Well, I can use whatever I want to fight this guy, after all. You've got out of the arena! Doesn't look like I'm going to... Maybe if I go for ups, I might be able to get it. Do you think I can get it? Not if they keep doing that, no. Stop knocking him down, guys! Yes! A fatal strike on one of them has got to be a good thing, right? Did I get anything? Just one Geostone. I wanted the fatal strike so much. We've got a limit bottle though. Let's fight one of them and get another tribal guard. You don't scare me. That's one. Not enough. Oh my heart! Alright, let's sort out the last one. There's a little snake just bit her in the ankle. Everyone's just ready to beat him up and everyone let him go. Your magic is not gonna work for you. Hey, come on! Yay! Alright! How about a hug? I don't think so. No hugs for Raven. Got another tremble guard there. <laughs> got my force learn. Oh, I got 20,000 gold from the- Oh, I'm a free, free cake! God! I'm rich for about- Till I reach the next vendor. <laughs> it's basically the be all and end all of, isn't it? I'm rich! Until the next vendor. That looks such like a fake wall there! You'll be gone soon enough. You hit me on the way past. Can you stop messing up my stuff? To be honest, broke that guy really easy. Just to hear all these Ta -da! noises going on in the background. Patty's just killing people. We'll just leave Patty to it. I don't understand what's going on anymore. I could definitely afford some mana. They see this looks like something. But yeah, I could definitely afford some orange gels now. The problem is there's no vendors. There's no fast travel. I can't just zip back and go, ha ha! Life is good again. Well, there's gotta be a boss as soon as we go a little bit further from here, right? Or we saved four minutes ago. So I'm just wondering what I could do for stat upgrades here. Magic attack moderately? Go on Estelle, I believe in you. Make a croquet. Magic attack increased by 30%, that's pretty good. All right, let's uh, switch in. Hmm. What do I wanna do? Rita for spells, just because, of course. 
Of course. Maybe Carol? We stick with Crazy Patty. Stick with Crazy Patty. So, you are aware that this place was the ground on which the Great War was fought? Yeah, we heard from the old man here. The Great War was sparked by a type of Blastia. What? This was not a Blastia that had been excavated. It had been constructed in the city of Temza using a new type of technology, the Hermes Blastia. Hermes Blastia? I've never heard of it. And if you say it was newly built... I didn't think you could make a new Blastia. The Hermes models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to... revolutionize the technology of Blastia. But something went wrong. The Blastia using these Hermes-type formulas required massive quantities of air. The air crena began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. That would mean the end. Not just of humanity, but all life on this planet! Just like we saw at Cave Mach and the Weasand of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Intellakea realized the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans. And they moved to destroy them. Which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. So then the Intellakea fought against the humans to help the planet? But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those Blastia were? Neither side probably cared much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Entelikea. Probably didn't talk much. Or maybe there was another reason. But what does any of this have to do with you, Judy? Temza fell to the flames of war, and the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait, you mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Yes, at Rago's mansion, Emmet Hill, Gosforost, not to mention. The Ceres Blastia on the Fiertia. That new Ceres Blastia must have been a Hermes Blastia. So then you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelikea. You could have mentioned that. Why didn't you say something? Were you gonna save the world all on your own? Are you stupid? with monsters can rightly call themselves a person. Carol, have you forgotten the credo of the hunting blades? Step aside. Monsters are evil, and the hunting blades pursue that evil. But the Angelikea aren't evil. They were fighting to save the world. Don't let them fool you with that credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're here for the Apatheia. Huh. It seems you won't listen to reason. If you have no intention of moving, you leave us no choice! Judith joins the party as that sound. The spell cast in the background finally goes away. Judith's not in your party. Please form a party with Judith as a member. Oh, okay then. Well then I guess I'll put Judith in here instead of Pay. Poor Pay. She was our crazy element of craziness. She's got a dragon tooth here. Uh, let's see what's the strongest weapon currently. Which weirdly enough is the tribal guard we've been picking up every two blooming seconds. Why not? Put your strongest weapon on. What about your gear? The silver circlet is better. Physical defense lowers your magic defense a fair bit. Why not put that on? We've got nothing else better there. You've got the attack ring on. It seems that Judy is going to fight. No matter what, this is Judy's battle. 
Everyone should be ready. I think we have magicked up. Let's do this then, eh? Rising Dragon Rule of Might. Your names of moves are way too long. Right, let's start scanning them. I just think I got eaten by some kind of weird snake guy. As level 39 Tyson has 71k HP. He missed me! You noob. Oh, everyone's doing flips now. I've caught a random upskirt. But whatever. Magic lens on Nern. Who has less HP and is a caster. So should be beaten up first. Let's face it. It's a caster. That's going to do more damage and be more annoying at times. If Judith goes for that guy, then I would go for... Oh, this is why I'd go for Nern. Whoa! You're over there now! Alright, please leave my party alone. Of course you would. Oh, it's cool that you got a new scale. I'm just going to run away from this guy a little bit more. And now back on then once she's ended that. Oh, what? She got me with that? Oh, yeah, because she can keep casting crazy because she's an over limit. Nasty thing to be caught in there. Let's use my stuff back. Oh, you're not getting away. I think the problem is that I'm beating up your caster just as much as you're beating up mine. But I reckon I can do mine faster than you can do... Wrong way around. I can do yours faster than you can do mine. That's the one. Damn, I really wish I had item for it right now. Melange jail yourself. I'm gonna continue on to Nern. I basically want you to survive otherwise. If you can survive it, it's better for us. That's nearly defeated. Don't want them on top of each other like that. I think the splash should do the job. That's one down. And Tyson is full guarding. Magic guard by the look of it. Alright, keep coming at me, Tyson, if you want. Actually, let's blow you away. No! Don't let him get away! I will use more of my abilities to beat you whenever I want to. I do need a bit more TP at this point, don't I? Alright, what do I have for TP? <laughs> I guess I pineapple gel myself. Don't blame me for using too many arts. Oh, man. I failed. Oh! Did I get a secret mission? I don't even know. I'll take it. I'm not going to complain, that's for sure. Woo! Let's just keep putting him on his ass. It works for me. He's got 309 HP back. Finisher. Were you going easy on them? I'll fight anybody who lays a hand on my people. By the look of it, I may have not completed the super mission. Might have had to be do something to both of them. But that's fine. I just smacked him down, used my specials, knocked him around, didn't get my finishing blow on him. Got to have a little bit of gold for it, so I'll take that. Nothing really for me to do. Apart from increase my HP of a lovely dish of curry. Special flag has been gained. What's that? I'm not done yet. I did it. So we got item pro there, learned as well. 
everyone pretty much leveled up. Here we go. Nan, I'm sorry. Carol, you've grown. Beats up Nam, doesn't care. Oh, we got a key item there. Let's just go check that out. Special flag. Oh, these are extra items that I still haven't opened up yet. One day, it will change to crazy costumes. A flag that allows you to change party leaders in the menu. It won't give you an extra life. Wait, we already had that? Why have we got another number one? They gave me another special flag. Thank you for the cheer, Owl. Another, another special flag. I don't need that. Give, give, give me a repeat flag. That'd have been better. There's a guy up there. Now oh, let's hit the uh, TP restoration save point. Always a good thing at this point in time. Don't care about the secret mission. Life is good. <sighs> I did kind of just beat them up miraculously there. So I'd say we're heading through. They're wide open. It doesn't seem. They're wide there. open. So that's why we got to head the other way, of course. Go away, Wiggle. Ah! That's one way of doing it. So the other one in the distance triggered a fatal strike. So I used the fatal strike and accidentally killed the guy nearest to me. That's pretty... That's, that's one way of doing it. That's one strategy, isn't it? One strategy indeed. It's Ruffle can skip it a sub. Magic Guard Plus has learned. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, we still have Super Chain 4 to learn on top of that. Still, people haven't learned everything yet. But there must be a treasure chest up here, right? Must be more than one. Hey, do you know what? How do I do this then? I'm sure there's a button for it. That's that. Isn't there one that I have that changes uh, person mid battle? That doesn't use over limit on me. I was like, this is time. Sure, do the sign of victory. I want to change it and use like someone else's. Ah, maybe I don't have that yet. I wanted to use someone else's. Ah, as we get the ever blue a cloth dyed by sea tribe. Sometimes your ship's mast wish for a safe voyage. Right, dun, 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 dun. we definitely got quick turn, but I'm pretty sure a piece still learning something. No, the stone slash has been learned. So next is to learn the Jiraiya then, and then we'll get on the Crimson Phoenix after that. Or well, the Jiraiya one be. Can you get out of my way? I can't hit you. The only way I could do it is to run into you. We. Hello. I'm going the wrong way! Oh, whatever. I was say, she went weirdly into melee then, didn't she? Dead right at the time I wanted to kill you properly. People stand still! Can you not see I'm trying to attack you? How this works is you stand still and you let me beat you up. That Soya is one HP dead. There we go. <laughs> the poor boys of Soy. Well, some more skills learned there. We need a sippy cup emote. I'm thinking of doing it for a bit. At least it's topical. I <laughs> it's the most topical thing we've had going on for a while apart from completing a billion Let's Play. But there's a chest right in front of us. I know everyone wants me to just go, story, story, go where the story is. Nah. There's this lady, who's just, what the hell's going on here? Well, let's get the staff, because that's usually what we get by doing a finisher or no, which is why I've been going for it. 
If it's a way that I can get more money, I'm going to take it. Alright, time to take out the Axe Iggle. I've just realised my other failure for trying to get someone else's special done is I'd actually have to set them with arts on their buttons. Because I have no Let's clue what arts what. So I can't use that until you. Yes, here we go. Never trouble gone. Luckily, we can get the uh, other stuff there. Feather coat. A coat as light as feather. More in fear you when exercising. I'm guessing that would be good for you there, except you're already wearing one, Judith. The other person who can wear it is you, but you're wearing a gothic cardigan. It does increase your physical defense, though. I guess I can sell that gothic cardigan for good cash back. You want to see costumes as well? Ah, oh, it's nearly time. We'll pop them out this session for definite. There's a monster lying down over there. I say monster. Monster might be a bit of a rude way to call it. But then I'll be using the costumes all for a thingy. People will be like, ah, what's this? What's happening? Baul is trying to evolve as an Intelakea. It looks like he's suffering. Baul, come on. You can do it. No! I want to heal your wounds, but there's nothing I can do. My power is poison to you, isn't it? Healing wounds isn't your power, Estelle. What do you mean? Don't you remember Bellius's words? Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. My compassion for others. Your thoughts are reaching Baul. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best. <laughs> well now. Amazing. I knew you could do it. Your partner seems like he's going to be just fine. Yes. Thank you all for helping to protect him. This is something I couldn't have done alone. You're one of us! Of course we'd help! That's right! Didn't I tell you? You got through to him! <laughs> you make it through to Pharaoh as well. Will you be going to meet him? That's up to Estelle to decide. I'll go. It's been the purpose of my journey, after all. Are you sure? What if you end up getting killed? Even still, I've got to stand firm on this. It won't be too long before the Hunting Blades send reinforcements. How about a change in scenery before they show up and spoil the party? There's only one path down from here, though. We're bound to run into them. The skies are wide open above us. Have you lost your mind? Get on. We'll fly as far as the Fertia. We can finish talking once we arrive. Well, if he's big enough. We can take to the skies. And randomly attach our boat to him. Because that makes sense. I'm sure he's fine with that. Judy! She's sleeping. She must be exhausted. Yeah, I mean, she just killed over. Wasn't expecting that. I bet she watched over Baul the entire time he was evolving. She probably didn't get much sleep. She probably had no idea when the Hunting Blades would attack, either. She was putting up a brave front, but she must have been near the end of her rope. She's just dumb. She doesn't know how to express what she's feeling. And I'm really glad we're able to help Judy out. 
We can finish talking with her tomorrow. We should let her sleep now. In fact, I wouldn't mind a little shut-eye myself. She's just dumb! She doesn't know how to express what she's thinking! Ugh! Rita says that. I guess she does express it straight out, but still. Sinelli. <laughs> Whatever. What to do with Judith? Well, we have... Air Flight. What to do with Judith? Let her sleep! I guess you mean in terms of guild rules and all that, though. We still haven't heard Judy's side, so we can't say anything, but... She sure caused the guild a major headache, breaking Blastia's all on her own. There's no getting around that fact, no matter what her reasons. We have to settle this. Man, I hate waiting. I guess we'll be speaking to Judith last then, but let's speak to Carol first then, considering we're making this kind of decision. Are you thinking about Judy? Yeah. I'm wondering what we should do about her. It's true that she broke the guild's laws and betrayed us. I always thought that a guild's strict adherence to its own laws was what kept it together. That there could be no exceptions, no lenience for those who would break the laws. But... She did what she did to save the world. Judy is destroying Blastia because she knows it's the right thing to do. Even if it makes people hate her. Yep. Judith didn't break our laws in order to do something bad. I know this now. I'm gonna talk with her about it and give it some more thought. I'll figure this out eventually. Oh yeah? Maybe if I become a little more decisive, Nan will listen to me too. We just beat the stuffing out of her. I don't think she's gonna be that receptive currently. Yeah, maybe Nan will like me now that I can show that I can beat the crap out of her of a group of people. <laughs> this is the way things work, yeah? <laughs> I have to be able to decide. I know that. Are you going to leave it up to me to decide what's right and what's wrong? To be honest, what you need is not strict rules. Rules have to be somewhat flexible and change over time. That's to be fair. Oh, Yuri. Sorry to interrupt while you were thinking. Ever since I took Bellius's life without meaning to, I've wanted to know what it means to be the child of the full moon, so the same thing doesn't happen again. I've always thought that it was my duty to know, but after what happened to Bellius... That's how everyone is. They do something, they learn. They do something else, they learn more. You too, Yuri? Yeah. Maybe if I had known everything ahead of time, I wouldn't have made any mistakes. <laughs> There's only one thing I can say for sure. What's that? Maybe you wouldn't have made any mistakes, but it sure would have been boring. I really wonder. I want to know what the Charter Full Moon is. I need to find out for myself. Oh, we'll find out in time. Who else is up here? Patty is... You used to being... Well, now you're Vise, aren't you? You're Sky Pirate now. Don't fall overboard. Yuri, the world sure is big. Yeah, even though we're flying this high in the air, we still can't see everything. If the world's this big, I guess it makes sense that there'd be so many things we don't know. It might not make that much of a difference whether I get my memories back or not. Are you saying you'd be okay with not getting them back? I'm saying that I'm not the only one who feels restless and anxious not knowing the truth. Everyone's worried about something. Even you and Estelle. You think so? Isn't that why everyone's here? Isn't that why Judy came back? And is that why you're here too? I don't want to be alone. You know, you're being pretty honest today. I'm always honest. Really? Well, maybe you are. I think she's actually right with that one. She is always honest, isn't she? She'd be dim as well. You never lay eyes on the house, see? I want to look up. I want to see Baul. I don't want to see a ship. Baul's cooler. So does an old man past his prime fit into the picture at all? What are you whining about, old man? Why are you past your prime? Hmm. What Judith was talking about before. Hermes Blastia, was it? Blastia created with techniques that should have been lost in the war are still active. Do you know what this means? 
I guess someone who survived the war brought either Blastia or those techniques back with him. If that person was still using the Blastia, even though he knew it was harmful to the Earth, someone like that would have to be quite the villain indeed. Oh man, don't tell me you... Hey now, yours truly was nothing but an innocent youth on the straight and narrow back then. I wouldn't do something like that even on my worst day. <laughs> I was just trying to trick you into giving yourself away. You're a slippery one. Son of a... When are you gonna learn some respect for your elders? Never. Never for you, Raven. Right, let's head inside then. I guess Risa and Judith are in here? No one else for Pete as well would be in here, yes. What's that crystal there? Is that the core from the Ceres Blastia that Judy destroyed? Yes, it's definitely cut with a different formula than the usual core. It looks like what she said was true. She said she wasn't too good at lying after all. To discover that the new technique you created was bad for the world, after what must have been years of research. I can't imagine how the person who created the Hermes technique must have felt. Well, what if it had been you? If I found out that it hurt the Earth, I would have to do something about it. But I wouldn't destroy the Blastia like that. <gasps> what the? Nothing. Uh, if only things weren't so complicated. I could have just blasted her into oblivion and been done with it. Hmm. Yes. Casual murder. It's always a good thing. That's Yuri. I understand her motives, but I still don't agree with it. It's so frustrating. Thank you. Woof. Of course. Good old Rapide looking after things. She's sound asleep. Let's let her sleep a bit longer. So our events end with Judith. Morning, Yuri. Morning. It's a beautiful morning, but even as we stand here, the air is out of balance. And our world may already be dying. <laughs> That's right. Judy! Well, look who's feeling better. In the past, these slight fluctuations of the air have not negatively affected our world. There have always been beings who maintain the balance by sensing changes in the airflow. Beings like Pharaoh and Ba'ul, the Entelechea. So the Entelechea were responsible for keeping the air balanced. For ages, the Entelechea have regulated the air, but the recent increase has been greater than they could control. Which is being caused by the Hermes Blastia. And, which is also why you were going around taking down as many of them as you could. Yes, that was my mission. The path I walk with Ba'ul, to whom I owe my life. The path you walk? Now some would even hunt the Intelikea for Apatheia. This has made the mission of the Intelikea even more difficult. Why is everybody so crazy about these Apatheia anyway? I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The air an Intelikea absorbs becomes condensed within its body over time. When its life is at an end, that condensed air forms a crystal, an apatheia. That's all I know. I imagine Pharaoh could shed more light on the subject, though. So apatheia are crystals of concentrated air. If that's true and the energy could be extracted from the apatheia, it would be a source of overwhelming power, I'm sure. Could we really do that? I... I don't know. But if that's possible, there must be tons of guys who want those things. I bet somebody wants to use these things for the wrong reasons. Why didn't you just tell us all this from the beginning? Seriously, we could have avoided all this trouble if you just talked to us. Am I wrong? Even if you had known, there are things not even you could have prevented. What do you mean? I showed up at Heliord because Ba'ul had sensed a disturbance in the air. Where there was a disturbance, there was sure to be a Hermes Blastia. But what I found there was not a Blastia, it was a person. That had never happened before. So it wasn't like you were looking for Estelle in particular back at Heliard. Yet for some reason, Ba'ul perceived Estelle as a disturbance in the air. I had to find out why. 
for the sake of the path I've chosen. It was at that time that Pharaoh first appeared. He seemed to have some idea who Estelle was. My mission was to destroy all the Hermes Blastia. However, Estelle was obviously not a Blastia. I needed to make absolutely certain I made a deal with Pharaoh. And he agreed to grant me some time. You mean... If it became apparent that her existence posed too great a threat, then I... I would kill her. You what?! Wait! Rita! Settle down. Obviously Judith reached a different conclusion. All right, I get it. Bellius said you possess a heart of compassion. If you can communicate that to Pharaoh somehow, you may learn what you should do. Hey! There's no real reason for you to fight Pharaoh anymore, right? I mean, we know the Hermes Blastia are what's causing the problem and everything. If we just make sure the Apatheia don't fall into the wrong hands... I still want to meet Pharaoh. I want to hear what he has to tell me. But... Please try to understand. I have to know more about myself, and take responsibility for who I am. All right. Sorry, Yuri. I don't think we can decide what to do about Judith right away. I promise not to leave again until things have been settled, as you said. I need to accept that responsibility myself. Let's go and find Pharaoh. We'll finally be getting around to one of the first things we set out to do. We can work out the rest once this is finished. There is a rocky crag in the center of the sands of Kogor. That is where Pharaoh lives. Baul can take us there. Okay, let's go. This meeting's been a long time coming. Sadly, it's probably going to be a long time waiting to. As now we're Baul, we can go. I can communicate with Baul, but there are still a few things you should know. Like what? Baul can only land on the ground in wide, open spaces, so you won't be able to dismount on steep mountain ranges or in narrow canyons. Can't he land on water? Water's no good either. Really? He looks like he'd be a good swimmer. <laughs> yeah, he'd sink like a rock. Huh, who knew? But that's why we have a ship, right? Right. If you'd like to get down onto the ocean, let me know. Baul will set our ship down there for us. Okay, but what should we do when we want to fly again? Use Baul's horn to call him to you. Baul's... that's all there is to it? Every Intelikea has a special region in its brain that can be used for communication with a special power Critians possess. Huh. So we can get a hold of him by using that. Right. That must be annoying. You're just having, like, your own time, chatting up some other Intelikea, and then randomly, nah, I'm being called for. It's like having your mobile phone on all the time, no matter what. No matter what. A horn made from a part of Baul's body, press L3 to call Baul on the world map. And now we've got ourselves controls. So how do we land? Circular's land, only an area where landing is permitted. Control and navigation map, bring up the menu, turn the camera, etc, etc. Start skits while we fly around as well. And so we now have the world. And with the world. That looked cool then. We have side quests. I don't like that rocking of the boat there. I just imagine like all of a sudden they go, Fwah! Catapulted off into nothingness. Judith, you're familiar with Pharaoh, aren't you? Is he really as scary as he seems? Well, let's see. Sometimes he's logical, sometimes he's emotional. He can be really scary or really kind. All right, that didn't help very much. One thing's certain, his power is extraordinary, even among the Intelikea. Here's hoping we don't wind up looking like poor old Mount Temza the moment we meet him. If he can do that to a mountain, there wouldn't be anything left if he turned on us. I wish you wouldn't joke about scary things like that. Why should we get scared before we even get there? Especially if he's that strong. Wish I could take it as lightly as you and Yuri. There's no point in getting scared beforehand. Right! Look at the speed, the world that we have to travel. But now it is really time to look at the sub-event guide. Fill in the world map, fill in the world map. Psh, why would I do such a thing? I mean, I'm okay not knowing. <laughs> all the dangers that are all around the place. You can fill in the world map easily, though. 
at the most speed. Oh, or more to the point, at what point do we zoop around the world? There we go. The world is round. Who'd have guessed? Ooh. I'm actually going to climb down there just so I can grab these. Ah! 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 Got an eight-man coat. Completely worth. That, that second there was so worth it, it's unreal. But now, you can really gather the stuff, can't you? Suck it, Flair, if it's for the hell. <laughs> Ultimate gathering spots. So this is one good way to get materials really, really fast. Life is good. Right then, let's get around the place. There are a ton of events all over the place at this point. So let's see if I've written up my thing correctly. I've got to figure out where I am at the moment. I'm uh, Zaphius, yes. Right, let's go to Mantek. It wasn't even far from our destination. And instead I went off in a weird way. We're going to see that animation quite a lot. With the minimap up on the main screen as well. Gotta, gotta fit in the gaps. Gotta uh, fit in the gaps. Wee! Uh, can't miss that little bit. I mean, there's nothing there, but gotta get it. As we get a skit about Judith's communication. I never imagined you'd be able to speak with the Intelikea. Well, I use a Critian technique to do it. Wait, do I detect a little jealousy? Mm, maybe. Right, Repeat? <coughs> Yuri, you want to talk to Repeat? I think the two of you understand each other well enough already. I got him pretty well figured out, but I don't know if he understands me. I think he feels the same way. Yes. He doesn't understand me. He understands you fine, Yuri. Stop being a weirdo. Right, so all the way back to where we were, more or less. Man take. That's what we're after. That's Yomgen. Well done. Ooh, maybe I should get this first. <laughs> See, this is why there was all this gathering stuff all around the place, right? Literally for this moment. <laughs> I can't go up. Oh, it's because I'm moving. I've got to stand still to go up. But now I can get all these gathering points. That is the good thing, right? That's man take. Found it. Right then, here we go. Of course, there's got to be like lots of stuff we can probably make at the shop now that we've got all that Desier iron and gold sand. Let's figure out what I'm doing here. In fact, I think I've already done some of the things here. So it's a bit confusing in and of itself. The knights in town are quite different from the ones that were here before. I guess this is the way genuine knights behave. They're so dependable. I'm wondering what's going on where. Oh, you. Ding dong ding! I'm Cows. You can call me K Dubs for short. Howdy doody! You've come again, I see. You miss me yet? Nah, we just wanted to see what you were up to, really. Oh, so you like me? You really like me? Hey, don't you ever get hot dressed up like that? Hot? Why would I be hot? Isn't that some sort of weirdo fursuit or something? It's making me feel itchy just looking at you. What do you mean? I'm naked, can't you tell? I'm going au naturel. I, uh. Uh, try not to give in too much thought. Now, what's today's item du jour, you might ask? Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. It's the trident! Ta da! What do you mean, ta da? Are you trying to tell us something? Now, now, no need to play dumb, pheromone boy. Ha <laughs> pheromone boy. <laughs> what? It's oozing manly pheromones. Please! Another item exchange, then. It's only Miss Bouncy, so hand it over. Give Trident. Do I have one? I guess it's the first weapon I picked up, right? Why well, I say no? Well, Scrooge, let me know if you change your mind, eh? I guess Trident is the first weapon I picked up, yeah? Off we go with the Trident. Hey, back. Did you have a change of heart about that Trident? Sure, we'll give you the Trident. It's fine. Hand it over the Trident. Thank you, thank you. Round and round, here we go. Where we stop, only I know. Catch! As always, thank you. Haha. 
Even though I know when he's going to come out, he's still quite startling. So what will you give us this time? Hmm, what indeed? Money, money, money. Here, you can have this. Rice. A staple that goes with all kinds of dishes is usually steamed before serving. A potato. An onion. A carrot. You're making me a curry. It's a curry. There's nothing like a yummy curry in a hot place. Thank you for the ingredients for a curry. I'm gonna kill you dead, baby. Yes, yeah, so dead. What song is that he's singing anyway? Well, whatever. Right. Time for us to take a little nap. Ah, sub events. Sub events I've never seen before. I see, so the chief and the others left town this morning. I'm not sure if they left the town, but they did spend the night here last night. And I'm fairly sure that their leader was your chief. I see. Hunting blades again. But mister, who was that man just now? Oh, he said something about being a member of a guild called the Hunting Blades, I believe. It seems he got separated from the rest of his guild, though. D did Nan stay here last night? Nan? Chill out, Carol. You can't expect them to know that. I just want to sleep in the same bed, sniff the pillow. What? Weirdo, Nan. Weirdo, Carol. Weirdo. How could you fix such things? Sir, members of that guild were staying in this inn, correct? Yeah, they were here until early this morning. W was there a girl with brown hair travelling with them? Actually, I seem to remember someone like that. Yeah, she looked like she'd be injured somehow. Wasn't me. That must be her wounds from fighting with us. Oh no. You don't know that for sure. Those guys get in fights all the time. <laughs> Except we beat the crap out of them. And we victimized her. Hey Yuri, you think we might be here for the night? Looks like the kid's a mess. Some relaxation to be good for his nerves. You sure it's not just that you're tired and want to rest? Well, there is that too. Hmm. Stay at the inn? Of course we're going to stay at the end. Good idea. Let's get some rest. Well, you said it. <laughs>